Okay, so I was getting ready to pick up where I left off um, with the dragon head here, and uh, I realized two things. Um, number one, this neck is way too long, I think. Um, you know, it might be an aesthetic thing, but uh, I'm using an awful lot of clay down here. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably cutting it off about right there. And that still gives you the uh, good, that's still a pretty good sized dragon head from there on. And from there back it's just kind of a lot of wasted space. And you know again there's a lot of clay right there. And I bought out all the clay that was available at the hobby store in Springfield but uh, it you know, is not enough. I'm needing to conserve clay. Uh, so the other thing that uh, I kind of realized is I need to do something with the mouth. I need to come up with a plan uh, to mold and cast the mouth. Um, so what I'm going to do is build two separate armatures uh, for the mouth uh, that will fit onto this armature. So uh, here's the plaster inside here. I'm just peeling back the clay just a little bit. Um, there's going to be two parts to this and uh, we'll go over that here in a second. Okay, so we have something set up here and I'm not sure how well this is going to actually work, but uh, we have two pieces and they are removable. So we'll get a hold of this, and pull it out. And so what we have here is one part for the teeth and a different part for the uh, inside of the mouth and the jaw. So um, these are held together with uh, some masking tape on the back. And it's just wire, just some bailing wire and tape and cardboard. Very inelegant, but uh, that's what we have to work with. So, stick this back in here. And when it comes time to make a mold of these different pieces, um, I'll be able to pull the teeth off pull this out and pull the teeth off and mold them separately than uh, the inside of the mouth. So the outside of the uh, dragon, the skin itself, that'll be one piece and then the teeth will be made from a different material. I'm thinking probably two-part plastic and then the inside of the mouth uh, which includes the roof of the mouth and the tongue and underside uh, and that will be probably latex and foam or uh, something similar so anyways it is about two o'clock in the morning and uh, it's time to get some sleep so that's it for now so I pretty much tore everything apart again and redid uh, the inside of the mouth and then the teeth. And I added a few little extra things. Um, I actually put uh, this wire uh, through the cardboard, uh, which is held in place uh, by tape, to uh, some wire bent around the edges. Uh, I put one wire bolt through here and another one through on this side. And those are going to hold the uh, teeth in place until I'm ready to mold and then I'll pull these wires out and you know clean up around where uh, this will be between the teeth and I'll clean that up you know, after I get it out and then uh, cast the teeth so uh, these these will pop out right here and those will pop out and then this whole unit will slide out and then it will separate into this piece, which is the uh, the top of the mouth and the bottom of the mouth. 
That's where the throat's going to go, and the tongue's going to go, and the roof of the mouth is going to go up in here. That'll separate into a separate piece, so I can take care of that, um, sculpt that as well. Uh, sculpt that separately, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, um, with all that, I redid, I pulled off the uh, jaw over here and redid this whole nose area. Um, so that's looking a little bit better, I think. Um, this isn't done by any stretch of the imagination. And I did a little bit of work uh, where I tore this off right here and I pushed this down a little bit. And I'm on a mission to conserve clay, so I actually hollowed out this area right here and I'm going to be filling that with wet newspaper and then putting the clay over top of that. Um, so that's what's going on as of right now. Um, it is Thursday night after work and I gotta have this thing done uh, not only finish sculpting but molded, casted, detailed everything by next Tuesday. So I gotta get busy. So before I get too far along in the sculpting process uh, I wanted to quickly go over the type of clay uh, that I'm using as well as some of the tools that I'll be using. Uh, this is the type of uh, clay that I'll be using. It's plastilina and uh, this is what was available from the hobby store. And you can see the difference between the old clay uh, that I have been using for a long time and the new clay right here. There's a pretty significant color difference and I think this one was darker to begin with but it's been through a lot. It's been through being melted and having stuff put in it and you know being molded and casted with various materials and just all kinds of stuff so it's kind of been through the mill and uh, the stuff still works um, really well as long as you keep it cleaned out. Uh, you know, keep the little bits of plaster and all the junk cleaned out of it, and it stays uh, reusable. Um, one trick you can use is heat it up in a double boiler, like you're melting chocolate or wax or something. You can heat it up that way and melt it, and all of the junk will actually rise to the top. Uh, so, that is the clay that I'm going to be using, and these are some of the different tools. I've got a variety of tools. Um, you know, the best tools are your hands. Just, you know, moving things around to where you want it and all that. When it comes to the detail work, um, I have these wooden tools that work very, very well. I use these quite a bit. And I recently got these uh, metal tools. Uh, actually, my wife gave me these for my birthday, I believe, or Christmas. One of the two. They're very cool and uh, I'll be using those on the dragon head. So done a little bit more sculpting uh, after the camera battery died last night and uh, I'm just working on doing some details up here and uh, working on the horn right here. This is uh, just a little plastic tube and I'm going to use that as the armature to mount the horn that's actually going to sit up there like that. Uh, then I'm going to put clay over top of this and uh, build it up that way. I also added these ridges uh, for the vertebrae. So now both sides are looking a bit more symmetrical.
so this is the dragon head so far. Um, I'm hoping to be done sculpting uh, later on this evening, and uh, then I'm going to start uh, putting the plaster on for the mold. So, got a long ways to go, and not very much time to do it in.